health news today. If you take antibiotics, listen up here. There's an urgent warning about a very popular class of antibiotics, including the popular drug Cipro. Dr. Jennifer Walden from Lenox Hill Hospital here in New York City with me now. Good morning, doctor. Hi, Bill. What's nice wrong? to see you. Oh, nice to see you, too. What's wrong with Cipro? Well, um, with the fluoroquinolones, which are the drugs we know commonly the Cipro. Flu say it again. Fluoro what? Fluoroquinolones, which are drugs we commonly know as Ciprofloxacin or Cipro or Levoquin. We've seen in the literature in the past, since the late 80s, an association of tendonitis and tendon ruptures in a certain high-risk population, like elderly men, people who are taking uh, steroids or prednisone and so the FDA has basically slapped a black box warning on it saying that um, prescribers need to be aware, patients need to be aware that this is a serious adverse effect of these very effective antibiotics. Why is it going after the tendons doctor? Well basically tendons are made of collagen or a, a tissue that connects muscle to bone and in, in in, in tendonitis, basically the tendons can get inflamed. These antibiotics in some microscopic studies have shown that the collagen is disarrayed or even doesn't even form properly with um, the use of fluoroquinolones. And that can be made worse with steroids, which we, we know from many, many reports that steroids can cause um, problems with thinning of tendons and uh, that sort of thing, mostly leading to tendon affecting rupture. affecting the elderly, you suggest, though, over the age of 60? Right. Mostly and a black box warning, is, is that an addition to a regular warning? Right. There's, uh, if, you, if you were to open up a box of levofloxacin in a day and look at the package insert, the, it would say that, warning, this can cause tendonitis or tendon ruptures, especially in, in over, men over 65 and people on corticosteroids. Um, they say that's in less than 1%, but now it's going to be a broader label, one with a big black box on it, and probably patients will need to get a little kit when they get that drug that's going to, they're going to read the information. And hopefully it will just bring public education and awareness sure, to this and, issue. and that's why we're doing the story today. Quickly, right. another story now. There's a 19-year-old teenager in Colorado working in the field with a rototiller. Thought he got hit in the head with a rock. You know what he got? He got a steel pin from a rototiller up his nose into his brain. Ouch. Yikes. He's alive, doctor. Yes, he is, and he is very lucky to be alive. Um, basically, it looks like that rototiller had a little nail on, and it went up through his nose mm. into his uh, through his midbrain, and it lodged right there in the back of the brain, called the occipital lobe, where there's some visual and spatial information coordination that takes place, and that's why he the only residual effect he's saying right now that he has is some peripheral visual problems. And well, just he, some he said he was in a lot of pain. Yeah, oh, I, I would bad, imagine huh? so. He said anyway. He, he told his dad. So. Up for back or forward to the side, it was like, man, this thing hurts. Right, and and, I, and if I if that was me, I would want them to take a, an X-ray or CAT scan of the head the first time I went in the ER. Yeah, not the second time. They didn't do that. Uh, they, they got the second the time, next. and he's okay. Yeah. Doctor, thank you, right. Jennifer Wolf. That's one tough guy. Mom says he doesn't eat sweets anymore now. He's tough. Taste change. And tough talk out of Russia this morning regarding the U.S. plans for a missile <laughs> missile shield in Europe. Moscow practically issuing a direct threat. That's next.